Welcome back. It's a trend that's picking up speed across the country. People are getting hitched, not in a church, but in a barn. Local 44's Alex Rose live in the studio with how businesses are preserving history in the process. Alex? Lauren, the Mansfield Barn is one of thousands in Vermont that are part of the fiber and landscape of the Green Mountain State. One man thought this spot on the side of the road would be a perfect place for folks to tie the knot. Hard at work, Elliot Lothrop and his crew with Building Heritage are giving this barn off Route 15 a makeover. We're dealing with bringing it up to modern engineering. He's been doing this work for more than a decade, preserving and strengthening historic barns across Vermont. I love the fact that we have a, a real tangible, uh, visible impact on the, the landscape. The crew gets through about 20 projects in a year. Its latest job... We're incorporating a two by six sugaring arch into the, into the bar for the beer. Decking out this 300 square foot barn as a wedding and events venue for Grant Allendorf. I think it's the whole, the Vermont brand. You know, people are um, just coming. We do many destination weddings where people don't even live here. He owns Super Sounds Entertainment and has been working in the wedding business for 37 years. The Mansfield Barn has a view and it's already picking up interest. We have booked 17 weddings in the last five weeks, so we figured that we would possibly do maybe four to six for 2016 and then, uh, you know, ramp up a little bit more for 2017, but there was quite a bit more interest than we anticipated. And the barn is a piece of Vermont history. The barn burned in 1900, was rebuilt I believe in 1901 and 1902. Allendorf received $15,000 from the state to help restore the barn, replacing 100-year-old wood. There's a, a set of guidelines, parameters that are set up to make sure that uh, money that is coming from the state or federal government for historic preservation is spent doing the right thing. And while the barn is eligible to be on the Vermont and National Historic Registry, Allendorf's says he's taking things one step at a time. We just haven't had the time to go through the criteria and um, get those lined up because we, we definitely will do that in the future. Now there are over 30,000 buildings, places and sites listed on the Vermont State Register of Historic Places. Allendorf tells me the community has really gotten behind this project. The first wedding will be July 23rd. Lauren.